Hundreds of Americans in China are waiting for word on when they can be evacuated. The U.S. government is trying to fly Americans in quarantined areas out of China. The coronavirus is spreading quickly there with 2,000 confirmed cases and at least 56 people dead. NBC's Janice Mackey Freyer reports from Beijing. Tonight, a deepening crisis. China's President Xi Jinping warning of a grave situation as the State Department scrambles to get Americans out of Wuhan. Sources telling NBC News that a task force is working to charter a plane for U.S. consulate staff and their families, as well as other Americans living there. But with only 240 seats on board, as many as 1,000 Americans in Wuhan on edge. Those seeking help from the U.S. Embassy in Beijing hearing this. If you are a U.S. citizen calling about the situation in Wuhan, please be advised that reports of a chartered plane for U.S. citizens leaving tomorrow are not true. A lot of us are kind of, uh, how do I put it, uh, getting a little restless. This woman tweeting to President Donald Trump, please help us. The State Department confirming only that the health of U.S. citizens is a priority, with hospitals in Wuhan overrun, with people fearful they have symptoms of the virus. Cars are now banned in the city center, checkpoints screening anybody out in public. How do I feel about being here and locked in with no information and dwindling supplies? I feel extremely horrible. The government here banning all travel abroad for tour groups in an extraordinary campaign to contain the virus. Officials are building two special hospitals, one of them to be finished in just 10 days. And the military dispatching hundreds of doctors with supplies, with masks selling out across the country. A first attempt to charter a plane to get Americans out fell through. We are told that a task force is now working with Chinese authorities to make it happen probably within days. That Xi Jinping Ping is speaking publicly about the virus, signals the growing seriousness for China's government and an expectation it's going to get worse. Janice Mackey for Air, NBC News, Beijing. Back here in Tyler, the East Texas Chinese Association canceling today's Chinese New Year celebration for that same reason. Due to the worsening outbreak of the coronavirus, they say everyone's health is our top concern. No word yet on if they're going to be rescheduling it.